Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little app review for Gears for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, if you saw my previous video on, it's just basically a preview video, uh, you, can, you can click the screen right now uh, if you want to go and see that first, uh, but this is the full review. That was just a little preview to kind of show you guys what it's all about because that was the launching day and stuff. So you got Start, Worlds, Option, Help, and Leaderboards. So I'm just going to hit Start right now. I think I've opened like six of the levels, something like that. Uh, but let's just let it load up here. I'm going to actually go back to the menu real quick and just uh, choose the first world just because that one will be much easier and better to show on camera. Now there is a tilt control as well as touch but obviously for the video I'm going to be using touch control just to try to stay on the camera a little bit easier. So here's your ball, and it's got really nice graphics actually. And you're trying to pick up these like, um, I don't know what they are. I guess they're gears. I don't know. Pick up these little tokens along the way, and they give you points. Now you do have a time limit, as you can see at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it tells you how many of these little gears you've picked up. Whoa, kind of messed up there, but it saved me. Uh, and you can see how many I picked up right there. My score, and you want to get in the little funnel. So I'm just going to continue, should take me to level 2 here, here we go, it tells you your high score that you got previously. Uh, now the control, uh, it's it's not perfect, It's the touch controls are not perfect, they take a, quite a bit of getting used to as well, um, so yeah there's little boxes that are interactive, um, I'm not really sure how to put it. But the the touch controls feel a little bit weird. I'm, I'm not, I don't really know, but they just feel really weird and um, hmm, I don't know, just not no natural or normal or anything f compared to other touch-based games. The tilt controls uh, are all right too, but they can be a little bit touchy. So I'm just going to continue, go to level three, just show you maybe one more level of gameplay. Uh, I think this is where it gets, starts to get a little bit more intense. Yeah, see, there's some there's some tricky areas, and as you go on, the the worlds get much more difficult, and you get much less time to do them in. So sometimes you don't even want to go for all the gears; you just want to actually complete the level. So whoa, that was a close save. And there we go. See, I only had 13 seconds to spare. Now there's little checkpoints you can get to. So if you fall off after that, you can go back to it, uh, but the time doesn't reset or anything. So you got to manage that wisely. So overall, I think it's a pretty good game. Some people say it's relaxing or something. That could just be because of the really nice music that it has. Um, but personally, I found it very frustrating when I, uh, level 5 and 6 uh, have been pretty difficult so far. And they have kind of, you know, they make me a little frustrated. I mean, it's not a peaceful like game. Like, you, you can get pretty upset about it after you keep retrying and retrying. And you just keep running out of time or something. Um, but overall, it's a very, very well-made game. I've had no crashes, and um, I really like the sound effects and the 3D graphics. They both look very good on my Retina display. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a pretty nice game. Go check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.